in theory, there is no difference between practice and theory. But in practice, there is. So I may, I may say, well, I guess I can play with a 270, 280 beats per minute. Yeah, this is what I said. But it's very different if I record myself, put the caja and record myself and then observe it, then I get perspective. So this is the second obstacle here we have on our list of 10 hindrances of the learning process. And it's number two. Number one is misunderstanding or lack of understanding. And number two, that is this one, is the lack of knowledge of how to practice. So what is the difference between what to practice and how you will actually do it and how you will actually master it, think, or be able to apply it at least at your level, right? Anything. For instance, we said uh, rasgueo. <laughs> This is what to do. Everybody will say, yeah, this is thumb up, middle ring finger down, thumb down. Yeah, but how you will do it, <laughs> this is the point. Because in, in YouTube, you know, there is plenty, but a lot, far more than plenty of information about what to do. And you hear many different opinions, say, learn chords, learn scales, learn D, learn D. Yeah, but how you will use it and learn it. First, learn it and assimilate it. This is for those who enjoy the art of learning. And therefore, in my method in Skype, I got a map for you. And we record, we record the things. We learned this from Paco, who recorded everything in the cassette to listen it from outside. Because he said, Paco said, this is obstacle, biggest obstacle of all in guitar playing is lack of perspective. Because when, when I, if I, say anything, whether it's gay or scale or anything. Suppose if I record myself, like when I play it, I, I play it or I play it or I analyze it. Then I may think, well, I, I guess it sounds great, but maybe not. So Paco said, not record it first, listen it from outside, take perspective, and then you see how it sounds as if it is not you who is doing the thing. That's why our students in this method they record their homeworks in unlisted private videos so that they can analyze because yes you need to observe yourself first this thing here the obstacle is lack of knowledge of how to do it what to do is impersonal and therefore meaningless at the end of the day but how to do it this is about you that is personal so this is very, very important because otherwise we don't have perspective. It's by getting all about this, how to practice is about awareness and perspective. And these two things, before Paco used this cassette thing of my era, <laughs> but now you can even record it in video. So I can say, okay, let me see how I play the Rasgueo actually. I put my metronome and then I go. And then now I analyze it and I see posture things, many things. So yes, you observe yourself. And by observing this, it has to have a structure, of course. And therefore, in my method, I create a map personalized for you. So if you want to know more, just call me or send me an email to info at rds.org. And you can try this experience of learning uh, in the way of, of how emphasize much more than what because what there is plenty of things what to do but how to do it 
That's the difference. And that's why I said at the beginning, what I learned from Bill McBurney, Maestro Bill McBurney, best player I play ever with. And he said this thing that in theory, there is no difference between practice and theory. But in practice, there is. Thank you very much. See you next time.